Christine de Pizan's The Book of Deeds of Arms and of Chivalry serves as a seminal work in medieval literature, offering a profound insight into the ideals of chivalry, knighthood, and the roles of men and women in society during the late 14th and early 15th centuries. Pizan's text is a response to Jean de Mun's Romance of the Rose, a work that she vehemently criticized for its derogatory portrayal of women. In contrast, Pizan's book champions the virtues of chivalry while advocating for the moral and ethical conduct of knights. She emphasizes the importance of chivalric values such as courage, loyalty, and honor, depicting these qualities as essential for knights to uphold. Central to Pizan's analysis is her exploration of the relationship between chivalry and warfare. She presents warfare as a noble pursuit, but one that should be governed by principles of justice and righteousness. Pizan idealizes the image of the chivalrous knight engaged in battle, fighting not merely for personal glory but for the greater good and the defense of the weak and oppressed. Moreover, Pizan challenges the conventional gender roles prevalent in her time. She critiques the notion that prowess in arms is solely a male domain, arguing that women are equally capable of embodying the virtues of chivalry. Her work redefines the role of women, advocating for their intellectual and moral contributions to society rather than confining them to traditional domestic roles. The book also delves into the education and training of knights. Pizan emphasizes the importance of a well-rounded education for knights, advocating not only for martial training but also for intellectual pursuits. She highlights the significance of a knight's character, suggesting that true chivalry stems from inner virtues rather than mere outward displays of strength and skill. Throughout her work, Pizan uses various literary devices, including allegory and symbolism, to reinforce her arguments. She employs allegorical figures to personify virtues such as justice, reason, and nobility, weaving them into the narrative to underscore their significance in the chivalric code. Pizan's text is not without its criticisms of the prevailing societal norms. She challenges the prevalent misogyny and societal injustices, advocating for a more equitable and enlightened society where women are respected and valued for their intellect and capabilities. The Book of Deeds of Arms and of Chivalry stands as a testament to Pizan's progressive thinking and her advocacy for gender equality and ethical conduct. Her eloquent and persuasive arguments continue to resonate, offering a timeless reflection on the values of chivalry and the role of women in society. Pizan's work serves as a bridge between the medieval and modern periods, offering insights into the changing social dynamics and the evolving perceptions of gender roles and ethical conduct. It remains a valuable literary and philosophical contribution that transcends its historical context, inviting readers to ponder the timeless ideals of honor, courage, and justice.